Hey guys, I'm Andres Erickson. And I'm James Erickson, and welcome back to... Before we get started with today's video, we just wanted to give you a hefty thank you. Yes. <laughs> For 50,000 subscribers. Um, I mean, what what more can I say? Just just <laughs> thank you. It's, it's a great place to be. We're halfway to 100,000. I know Ooh. all of you are desperately waiting for that silver play button um, <laughs> uh, opening. I know, although some of you only subscribe just to see that. So, anyways, Rolls. thank you. Thank you very much. We'll continue to make as good as content as we can, I suppose. And uh, we're hoping for our next good 50,000, okay? <laughs> anyways, um, with that, we asked you guys to ask us just general questions about anything. So in this video, we're answering your questions in our Ericsson Gaming Q&A. Here we go. First question is from Nintendo Gaming. Ah, my mic. Uh oh, I got it. He asked, <laughs> "What was the game you were looking forward to most, but in the end were disappointed by?" Hmm. This is kind of relevant to how I've been feeling lately, and. <laughs> Okay, so the game I was uh -oh. I was waiting for most uh, for the Switch, I will say, because it's something that's been on my mind a lot lately is Splatoon 2. I think a lot of you know a lot of you have known that uh, yes. Splatoon 2. Splatoon in general is one of my favorite series of Nintendo. Nintendo has put out, and uh, I was really hoping it would be great, and it is a great game. But there are a lot of things in it, very in-depth things that I was disappointed about. Uh, very disappointed actually, just how the online stuff works. <clears throat> Um, and like the motion controls and then just the lack of lobby stuff that they should have changed especially on a competitive level uh, there's a whole list of things I would love to address and I would like to make a video on it in the future but I'm not gonna talk about it right now this is a Q&A for other questions but um, that I guess answers the question on my end what about you Anders uh, I can't really think of a solid answer but it just gives me another opportunity to poop on Mario Party <laughs> Actually, that's what I was thinking you I think I was just kind of hoping like <laughs> okay Mario Party 10 this is number 10 this is the chance to right their wrongs and start anew and listen to the fans and then as we all know that didn't happen and I'm not gonna go on complaining about it because we've done it a million times before um, but yeah I'd say Mario Party 10 Kyber Star asks, do you like cats or dogs more? Of course. Of course, Kyber. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's hard because I like both of them. That's my answer. Both. For me, I like cats a lot more. So much more. Um, <coughs> yeah, I've with the dogs that we grew up with, I liked, but they were I think I was more annoyed with them than I actually liked them. As I got older, I guess. Cats are just, they're quiet, and they're just, they're cute, and I want one. Brandon Lowry asked, oh my gosh, will Andres, will you marry me? Yes, Brandon, yes! C Moose Play says, what's your favorite Mario game? Mario game? Yes, okay, Mario. Mario game, that's such a, that's such a vague question. I'm gonna go with 3D <laughs> Mario games, and so far, I think Mario Sunshine might be my favorite 3D platforming Mario game. That's also a hard question because the one that is coming to my mind, I feel like you're going to be surprised, especially because we don't feel the same about this game, but uh, <laughs> Super Mario 3D World, I would say, is one of my favorite Mario games because it's a 3D Mario game as in like the gameplay style and the look, obviously, but it's like multiplayer so you can play with your friends and I feel like there's so much to do and everything's like polished to a crisp and obviously I love the solo Mario games and I... So I feel like looking back on this in a long time, I'd be like, why didn't I say like Mario Sunshine or something? But like, I don't know. Super Mario 3D World surprised me and I just really liked it. I so, thought yeah. you would say that. Oh, really? Yes. Dang it, I wanted to be mysterious. Angelo ABC asks, do you have any other siblings? Funny yes. enough. Yes, we do. We have three other sisters. It's yeah. Andres and myself and then three other sisters. It goes James Five girl, me girl, girl. Uh, the Barbie Bunch asks, Hi! I really like all of your videos, so I wanted to ask, what are your favorite games that aren't Nintendo? Good question. <laughs> um, I've said this before, but I love Overwatch. I think it's a very good game. I, I mean, I think I would say around the same thing. Like, any, any PC shooter I really like. So, Overwatch, PUBG, um, 
are probably the top for now, if, but I can't really think of other ones. You at mean the moment, you're so not gonna you say go. TF2? <laughs> well, TF2, there's so many problems with it right now that oh. it can't. It's not gonna be up there in the favorites, but it's an old fave. Wow. Heather Sotak asks, "Do you like Pikmin games and or the franchise?" Uh, I've played it. I've played the first one a little bit, and it was okay. It was all right. <clears throat> it couldn't hold my inten uh, my attention for the Intense. entire game, but maybe I need to play the other ones to really get a good feel of it. Yeah, I'd say pretty much the same thing. I played a little bit of the first one, and I did like it, but I just never go got back to it, and I haven't played the rest. Oops. Tyrant asks, what was it like going through Hurricane Irma with no power? Were you guys prepared? I can probably relate since I went through it as well. I mean, my family lost power for like a week, but because of that, I just like stayed with some friends. So I didn't, I didn't experience not having power because <laughs> they had power. But dang, I heard it was not fun because it was hot. That's yeah. about all I've got to say. It really wasn't that bad around uh, Orlando, but um, yeah. Yeah, I live, I live two hours away from Andres. And uh, we only lost power for like a full day and then most of the next day. So it was, it has its annoyance, but I mean, it has its good things too. You kind of get a break from like, you know, staring at the screens most of the time. So right. it was what, um, what it was. Um, that actually, quick, quick plug. If there's anything you can do for our fellow Puerto Ricans, they're going out without power for yes. three to six months. Okay, so just think about that. Put that in your mind. If there's anything you can do to help them, please, please go ahead. We are Puerto Rican. We have family in Puerto Rico. So we're trying to do whatever we can, I suppose. It's hard, you know, to figure out what we can do in this situation. But that's all. That's all I'm going to say because now we're getting on to the Q&A. Navi Boy says pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Nah? Ew. No. That's my answer. That's my answer also. <laughs> um, okay, Reznuk. Are you ever going to collab with other people? When it's convenient and when it makes sense for us, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it would be nice. I'm sure it would be really fun. I We do want to in the future, but yeah. we're not, like, running to be like, oh, my gosh, we need to collab with this person, this third person, this person, <laughs> and emailing them all the time. Like, we need to just do right. it when it makes sense, like Andre said. And it's I mean, convenient. I called PewDiePie, and he was like, who are you? And then I cried and said, okay, bye. <laughs> it was traumatizing, so... Lulz. Hello, all JK. Nightly Ninja says, if a new Smash or Smash port came out, which game would you like more, the Smash game or Splatoon 2? If the Smash 4 was ported over, uh, then I would probably, I might, I don't know, it's hard to say. Splatoon 2 and Smash are like completely different games, yeah. and I, I almost like them equally, um, but I guess it depends on what the new Smash would be like. I would like Smash better. Alyssa the Oof asks, Favorite Nintendo character? I like Yoshi and Toad and uh, Bowser. <laughs> I don't know. I like a lot of Nintendo characters. <laughs> I don't know who my favorite is. I like. I King think Boo. if I had to pick a favorite, I would. I would say Bowser's probably my favorite, but Waluigi is definitely up there too because he's so he's so freaking strange. Yeah, he's funny. He a funny guy. Pika B says favorite Pixar movie. If it's Cars 2, I'm reporting you. Don't worry, it's definitely not Cars 2. <laughs> Why? I don't even think I've seen that. I haven't either, but I heard bad things. <laughs> uh, when Pixar comes to mind, I think my favorite ones are probably... Um, well, two that come to mind real fast are the, the Toy playing? Story series, and I think The Incredibles might be up there. I can't really think of the other ones, so... I would say that's yep. probably the same for me. I love Pixar, but, and there's so many good ones, but I think The Incredibles is my favorite. And then obviously Toy Story is so good, so good. It's just so good. So I remember good. when Toy Story came out, I was probably like, I mean, you, oh, many of you guys were probably not born Babies. when Toy Story came out. So I was really young though. Alyssa the Oof has another question. A lot of you guys asked tons of questions in Discord. Um, so I guess we'll just answer them as fast as we can, lols. Anyways, Alyssa the Oof says, What game would you complete over and over and not get tired of? Uh, that's hard. So it has to be a game that actually has to be completed? Like a story game? Or any game? I guess a game that you could, like a story, like, I don't know. A game that you could, not a, I, probably not 100%, it's just a game that you can complete the majority of it, or the, the primary part of it. I don't know, Alyssa, it's hard. <laughs> 
Um, uh, I don't know. Do you have any Well, answer? I mean, a, a, a game that I would say that I have completed multiple times and will still do it in the future because I know I will uh, is Mario Sunshine, just because. Mm. Donkey Kong 64 I've played multiple times and I would love to play it again, so yeah. maybe that. <laughs> The classics. Scrooge says waffles or pancakes? Uh, probably pancakes. I would say that I enjoy pancakes better than waffles. Pancakes! Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe waffles. But then maybe I'm just trying to have a different answer. <laughs> Favorite season? I like... Summer! <laughs> I like winter, actually. But I also like spring. When I can actually... Well, Florida, all the seasons are the same. and only gets a little bit cold and it sucks. So... Other places, probably spring or fall. Maybe fall. I've always liked summer better than any other season all my life, and I, it still holds true. Meester asks... Read Meester's, I guess. At what age in life did you think, wow, life is going to be tough? Um, I don't think I ever thought that life was going to be easy. And I think as I got older, you just realize more and more that life is tough. Yes. <laughs> And you just get through it, and sometimes it's hard to, and sometimes it's easy to, and, and sometimes it's really it's hard. Just tough. Yep. Um, but you get through it. You get your good friends and family around you if you have some of those, and uh, yep. Ditto that. Nice. Can you guys do a draw our question mark question mark question mark <laughs> life question mark possibly next milestone? I've never watched a draw our life because I was never interested in them, and I so I don't exactly know what they are yeah they're kind of interesting i kind of like them i think they've been so overdone now people just try to have be like oh i have this such a tragic past and now everything's better but things don't just all of a sudden get better and then everything's good for the rest of your life so i don't know anyway i mean we i i think draw our lives if it, if it's like what you're saying are more for uh youtubers who try to be more personal and we try to talk with you guys and share our opinions and you know get personal to some degree but we don't care to share in-depth personal stories with you that has nothing to do with gaming not, or yeah, stuff like that. There's just not really a place for it yet, I guess. I don't know. Right. Navi asks, what kind of movies do you enjoy watching? <laughs> yeah, this is a good one because we love movies. Yes. And uh, I just, I don't know. I... I, I feel like all I can say is I like good movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> movies that are good. I like bad ones. But for genre-wise... Genre, I, I, I love comedies, good ones, but I also like action packed with either, you know, good s stories but are well made. I, I don't know. And I like ones that um, make you think. Yeah. And just well put together. Whatever, dude. Marvel's amazing. <laughs> I love Marvel. They're, I mean, there's just candy. It, the, some of them aren't even that great, and I love that them. That is a good uh, comparison candy <laughs> it's yes. bad for you and it's bad but it's good <laughs> and you love it i would say i'm on the opposite side of the spectrum except i also like good movies <laughs> and i do like comedies but i like dark dramas and i like horror when it's good and um i also like movies that stay with you after you watch them even just for a few days because they have something bigger to say than just pow you're dead pow you're dead or ah pff, poop joke ah <laughs> Yes. which of the contests that you had on your channel was your favorite so far and why? We haven't done these in a while and believe me guys, we get the question like every day. When are you doing another Smash Fighter yeah. contest? <laughs> uh, we'll probably do one in the future. Definitely not in the very near future, yeah. but we'll do another one in the future. And but then yeah, they're, they're probably my favorite just because you guys go all out and like mm -hmm. Just describe so much uh, fun what character you think would, would would be a good Smash fighter, and you go, you, you describe their moves and everything, and yeah. those are cool. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Orozco. I don't know if... I don't know if I say this often, but you guys are awesome. You guys are super funny. I wish well for you guys. Wow, thanks, Richard. Thank you, Richard. It means a lot. My question is, how long will you guys be doing YouTube for? <laughs> Uh, as long as we can, I guess. You know, as long as we're growing and we've got ideas, and if it's going to be paying the bill sometime in the future, then we'll probably do it for as long as we can. I mean, life can just bring you throw punches, and sometimes you either start doing stuff or stop doing stuff. So whatever happens, happens, I suppose. Roy, quality trash, uh, trash, 
asks Andres, my dude, my man, my brother from another mudda. How are your eyebrows always on fleek and looking as fresh as a pumpkin in October? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They're just <laughs> really good and nice and bushy and cool and um. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm so flattered though. Cleric Sleepy asks, "What do you think is going to be the next? What do you think the next Splatoon? What do you think? Okay, what they're trying to say is, what do you think the next Splatoon game is going to be about?" <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's there's no way that I get. Hopefully, something about Octolings. I I don't know. I you know what? If the third game, I'd like to see you know dedicated servers better online yeah. stuff and things like that so right. better crispier motion controls yeah i mean i kind of hope they do something a little bit different i mean i let not change any of the gameplay or like the hardest splatoon or anything but like i want them to i don't know uh, splatoon 2 was so similar to the first in my opinion that i still felt like oh i'm just playing splatoon 1 again so it's hard to for me to pick it up and really get into it because I just feel like I'm going back to Splatoon but it's, it's I think it's a good game but I don't know uh, I'm gonna lump burning oof burning floof and pigoofs questions together because they're all about Pokemon um, so what's your favorite Pokemon Andres oh, gosh I mean I never I haven't played like a like a main Pokemon game in years <laughs> so I only know about like the first generation and the second generation then like the other Pokemon, some of them sprinkled throughout. So, I don't know, Pikachu? <laughs> Is that so basic? I do like Pikachu, and I like Gengar, I guess. And Haunter, I like Haunter. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, okay. My favorite Pokemon, I guess, I don't know. I've always liked, I think Mew and Mewtwo have always had a special place in my heart, only because Mew was like, you couldn't, it, you, to get, unlock Mew back in the day, you had to do this weird uh, glitch and stuff, and then Mewtwo was like the end Pokemon you got, and he was super strong. Like, I don't, I, there's a lot of Pokemon I don't care about, like in the newer generations. Um, I just, I- They're weird. Yeah, we grew up, Pokemon came out when we were alive, so we remember the first generation better than the rest of them. What is your favorite starter? Which Again, one of the three? I, I, the only ones that I can remember are Squirtle, Charmander, and Ivysaur, so. Yeah. Or you mean Bulbasaur? I mean, ugh, Bulbasaur. <laughs> uh, I think I pick Squirtle a lot. I think. Same. Yeah. Same. Uh, next two questions are for me because I play more Pokemon than Andres, but Oops. Mega Evolution. Probably, probably uh, Mewtwo's Pokemon Y Evolution. I actually really like that one. And then Legendary. Uh, hmm. Mewtwo. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. That's a hard one. There's a lot of them. Kyurem, or however you say it. Kyurem. Black Kyurem. I don't know how to pronounce it, so just kill me in the comments, please. <laughs> Pika Beast, what was your first... Oh, I mean, what was your worst school experience? My <laughs> worst school experience? Well, I hated I school, so all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. All I of really it was did the worst. not like school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't know. We Andres and I weren't like... We didn't try to draw a lot of attention to yeah. ourselves, and we weren't. We also weren't always picked on. I mean, I'm sure we were bullied from time to time, but we just we didn't like school, so we just went to do what we needed to do and then left. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my gosh, I hated it. Thank <laughs> that's God that's over. <laughs> I know. Seriously. Resnuck Gaming. Have your parents caught you playing video games when you should when you shouldn't have? Probably. Uh, when we were little, we used to sneak downstairs in the middle of the night and play video games, but I don't know if we ever got caught. I think I was really scared of getting caught when it wasn't even that big of a deal, I guess, but... Actually, the only time we got caught was when our cousin John told my mom for some reason. Wow, John, She was like, because he was sleeping over, and we went downstairs in the, middle, in the middle of the night to play video games, and then I guess for some strange reason, he just told my mom, <laughs> like, casual conversation. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Now he's dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> Deku asks, what opinions do you guys have for anything in general that would be considered unpopular? I don't know. There's probably a lot of opinions we have about general stuff that isn't worthy or uh, or appropriate to put on a gaming channel, so. Right. <laughs> um, 
Yep. <laughs> so that's the last. Mario Galaxy 2 sucks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's, <funny. laughs> that's a good one, though. Anyway, that's it. All right, well, that's all the questions we have time for. So thank you guys for your questions. Um, normally, we'd move on to the reading viewer comments part, but the comments from last time were your questions. So I'm just going to give you the question for next video, which is what were... What were your favorite and least favorite parts of the most recent Nintendo Direct? So let us know in the comments below of this video. <laughs> That's about it for today. If you'd like to, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. We post our videos as well as reminders and updates or just funny things or interesting things here and there on those things. So to stay up to date with us, you can follow us on those platforms. And also Discord, I think we mentioned it earlier, but um, yeah, you can come. Yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, that is about it. Thank you guys again for 50,000 subscribers. Seriously, we're, I mean, personally, I'm really bad at talking, so I don't know how to thank you more, but I really am very grateful. <laughs> we basically owe you our whole life. My entire life. You can take it. <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, yeah, we're having fun. We're trying to do more. We're trying to get, work on new things. And, um, uh, um, oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Um, <laughs> Yep, that's my speech. Thank you, guys. With that, all of you guys have a great day. All of you guys and gals, sorry. Ha <laughs> ha!